It's been one month, one whole month, and I haven't posted anything. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna post something today. Not today, in a few days, because it will take me some time to edit. But I'm gonna try and cook for my whole family for Ramadan. Is that a good enough title? I don't know what else to call it. I'm gonna cook. Guys, I'm gonna cook food. Guys, watch this video to the end, because I'm gonna be cooking food. It's 11.32 right now. I just got out of bed and my blood test is at 11.40. I need to hurry up. It's 11.36 right now. Flipping hell, this is too bright, man. I was in the dark like one minute ago. 11.37 now. This GP is just down the road, so it's not too long. And the thing is, I get bare dizzy after blood test. I mean, the last blood test I had was like seven years ago. If I remember, I get bare dizzy after blood test. I was so tired to the point where I was like, you know what? I was just in my bed and my alarm was going off. I was like, I can't lie, I'm staying in bed, bro. Bun this blood test. But the thing is, this would be the third blood test I'd missed. I just finished this blood test. I'm bare dizzy. I need to quickly go home before I just faint on my road. Also, I got a sticker. What the hell? Well, I didn't. I'm lying. I don't know why I said that. All right. So now, basically, bro, you could tell from my head that I just from my head, from my whole flipping face that I just woke up. I've been awake for 20 minutes, and look at me. I'm being productive already. I've woken up and I got a blood test. Wow, production. But now, right now, basically, I'm gonna go home. I'm just gonna go straight back out again to the shops so I can go buy all my ingredients and stuff, and then start filming this video. I need to force myself, even though I'm really dizzy. Right, not really dizzy. I feel like because my blood got finessed by the way i have not decided exactly what i'm gonna cook i don't know what i'm cooking i'm cooking i just know that i know there's pots and pans involved and some fire but i don't know what i'm, what I'm actually cooking Bruh, it's very tempting for me right now to just go back to bed but i'm not going to look how tired i look okay this is not a good look i don't care but it's not a good look i can't lie upon further analysis i'm actually quite dizzy okay i'm back out again i can't lie i'm exhausted man Okay, I was too tired to cook straight away, so I had a quick nap, quick nap. It's five o'clock. I got three hours to cook everything. And by everything, I mean, I don't know, because I don't know exactly what I'm cooking. Okay, it's 5.26 now. I still need to properly wake up. Okay, so this is all the stuff I got from the shop. This is, uh, what is this? Tomato puree, not tomato. Why am I, Allah, my brain is slow. My brain... Try and gauge what this is from the picture, because I don't know how to describe it. I got this for free. I don't know why. I was at the till. The guy was like, oh, do you want this for free? I said, yeah. Pastry for spring rolls. Coriander. I think this is called coriander. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know if this is coriander or not. Chickpeas, kiri, some spices, some more spices. Tomatoes. This is lamb neck. So like this part, but like lamb version. Got mince meat as well. Let me wear apron. Let me wear chef apron. All right, we got flavors here. So I go for the checkered one or like the the plain grey one. I'm gonna do plain grey one because that's what most people in the comments said. How the hell do you wear this? This is actually confusing. What the hell? How do you put this on? Is this even an apron? How do you put it on? I feel like I'm fixing a puzzle. Is it like that? Oh, I did it. Bro, I look like I'm gonna go paint a wall. I don't even know where to start, man. Okay, what am I even making? That's that's a good start. I'm making shorba, which is like a soup. Burek, which is like like the spring roll, but like Algerian version. What the hell? am I making? Tajin. Sorry, Tajin. So I need chicken, but where did I put the chicken? Okay, so I got the chicken as well. Okay, so this is everything I have. What do I start off with? What do I start off with? I'm gonna do the shorba first. Okay, so I'm gonna do the shorba first, but I think today's more pressing question of the day is how do you make shorba? And I have to eat it, but that's it. I have less than two and a half hours to turn everything on the table into something that you can consume. You know what? Forget Google. I'm gonna call my mom. Hello, mate. How do I make shorba? Yeah, I slept and I just woke up and I have to cook everything now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Shwiya zit, shwiya zubda. Win hato. Wish man qadra. Yeah. Okay, class, let me do this then. Let me just get started with that. All right, Saha. Right, okay, so basically, yeah, I need to be quick. I need to get the lamb neck, some tomatoes. Okay, so this is all I need right now. This, this, and this. It's like a mud, mud. It's something, it's, it's a pot but made out of mud. Why am I getting angry? I'm, I feel like I'm just stressed. I'm gonna set myself a timer. I got one hour and 20 minutes to do everything. Timer starts now. After, okay, I've already forgotten what my mom told me to do. Six start. So I get the olive oil and then just slap that in. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put in. You got the meat. Let me let the thing heat up first. This is how much oil I've added. This is heating up. Oh, wait, can you see? Oh, uh, look, it's me. Wait, hi. I need to cook, man. What am I doing? Um, next step, shurba. I need to grate onions, garlic, and I need to blend tomatoes. Uh, these onions are tiny, but these are the only ones, so I'm gonna have to use two of them. Okay, so grate the onions. This is tiny. This is not great. What the hell was that? Pickles fell. Got itself in a bit of pickle. Oh, my. Oh, okay. I said that as a joke. Look what oh, my God. It wasn't even the pickle, man, it was the puck. Is this puck thing, man? For puck's sake, mate. Okay, um, onions come first. We'll deal with that problem later. One world issue at a time, man. Whenever I'm grating, I feel like I'm always scared that this is gonna finish without me noticing, and then I'm just gonna grate my hands. Before I finish this, I need to put the meat inside the cooking machine, the mud bath. Are you ready? I'm not. Wow, sizzles. Anyways, let's pour the whole thing inside. Apparently I just need to like fry it for a little, not fry it, I don't, just cook it for a little bit in it so it gets a bit brown. This is stress, I need to film and cook at the same time. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Oh my days. 
Uh, it's gonna have to join the puck. Okay, so now back to the, I'm not in the frame. Hi, back to me. I'm in the frame now, but the onions, what's more important? Do you wanna see me doing this to the onion or do you wanna see me? Okay, I'll let you see the onion. I'm crying, man. Oh, this onion is making me emotional. Wait, but I'm not joking. I don't know if you can see. I'm sad now. Is this how actors like fake cry? Do they just put onions? Oh my days, this is actually burning bad. Is this how actors fake cry? And they just get onions and when it burns their eyes, they end up crying. Is that is that how they do it? This is burning bare, man. This is not good. This is bad. Which is the opposite of good. All for this lump of onion. Time for the garlic now. I forgot to check up on this. Stir, stir. I'm actually getting bullied by onion. Garlic now. Oh, your mum. Why is this not... Okay, this needs to get grated as well. Okay, so garlic doesn't body my eyes like the other one, like the onions, which is great. Great. Sorry, I've overused that joke enough times. That's, that's not great. That should be enough, hopefully. We've got the onion, we've got the garlic, and then we're just gonna dash this in here where the meat is. Don't cry. Okay, I think I'm just gonna leave that sit there for a bit. Also, if you're sitting there thinking, this is my first time making shodba, so if you're sat there like, oh, what the hell, what's this guy doing? Da -da -da -da. This is not a cooking channel yet. I'm just trying to make stuff. This is not a tutorial, this is an experience. So I don't know why this is still on my hand, so I'm gonna take it off now. Why does that hurt so much? What the hell? I'm just gonna rip it off completely. Yeah, that hurt. And my skin's all wrinkly. Am I old? The next thing I need to do, oh, I need to marinate the chicken. Oh, I should have done that first, bruv, but anyways. Why am I slamming? Sorry. Um, bowl. Chicken. Marinated. Look, I lied. It wasn't a transition, guys. Chicken is still there. I'm gonna go and sort it out now. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, I went from cooking tutorial to how to count to six tutorial. Like and subscribe. Also, I hit 100k subscribers um, a few days ago. That's crazy. Anyways, to more pressing matters, the chicken. We need to wash the chicken with lime because it's no. better. I don't know why it's better, but thumbs up means better. Okay, now I think I need to blend the tomatoes. I don't know how many tomatoes to blend. Zorj? Okay, I was gonna do five. Oh my god, I keep dropping stuff. I need to add the chickpeas to the mud bar and then add two tomatoes. I was gonna add five, I called my mom, she said only two. And first I was doing the chicken because I needed reinforcements because I have one hour left. Anyways, I need to add the chickpeas now. Tomatoes. And then just slap that in there. Let's see the consistency. Okay, that is consistent, throw that in. Satisfying? It wasn't that satisfying. Right. Shorva, yeah, this looks like shorva. To add this as well. Oh, that smells nice. And I think, oh no, mix it. And then add the spices as well. So this is a Ras al Hanut, which is um, head of the shop. Don't know how much to add, so tell me when to stop. Oh, I used all of it, so. All right, so we've got all the chicken here, yeah? Nickel beer oil. I'm not gonna go through everything that I'm using. Oh, it's going all in my nails. All right, all right. All right, so I've added the water to the short bar. This is what it looks like now. If it's a give it a mix, give it a mix. Wow, look at that, Master Chef. Whilst the chicken's getting prepared by sous chef right there, I'm gonna try and sort out the burek, which is like the spring roll thingy. Look what I just stepped in, man. I just left it there, I forgot about it. Ah, uh, for puck's sake. All right, these are all the chicken bits we got so far. We got the drumsticks, the niblets, the drumsticks, and the thighs. All right, now I need to chop more onions. My eyes still haven't recovered, but I am a veteran. I'm gonna try and get the Master Chef angle. These are some small onions, man. Look how, this is tiny. And then garlic as well. All right, so we're gonna fry the onions. Okay, that flopped. I need to put this in the shodba as well. I need to put some grass inside the shodba, the soup. This is like ASMR, bro. All right, dash this inside the shodba. Okay, and stir. All right, there we go. Okay, I'm editing this video right now at 4.50 in the morning. Proof. This is just a quick reminder to like the video and subscribe. Okay, now we need to do the mince meat to make the burek, so the spring roll thingies. Okay, so I got half a kilo of lamb mince. It's not even lamb, it's mixed lamb and beef mince. Okay. That looks so buzz. Multitasking. Okay, I need to make the mashed potato now. Muslim l'original. So, yeah, colonized a few places. Okay, so what you do, yeah, is you add this thing. It's like a mixture. You put that inside. Oh, you can't even see it, man. Oh, no, I wasn't even meant to add it there. Hope you're having a great day. I was meant to add it into this. So, we go again, we'll go again. This one I'm meant to add. It says slap it in the microwave for five minutes. That is a long time in the microwave. It's gonna get cancer. I think this is 400 milliliters of milk. Is this 400 milliliters? Leave a like if it isn't, and leave a like if it's not. Ah, oh, that was so satisfying. I need to add water now. And yes, I put the water the same place I put the milk because they're getting mixed in here anyway. I'm meant to mix this and then microwave for five minutes. Oh, the microwave is completely blocked off by all of that. This is baraj. Baraj means barrage, which means something in English that I don't know the word of. Dynamic shot. See that? And then it comes out like that. Push the door in. 
Oh, I was meant that was the wrong button. And then five minutes. This is what the minced meat is looking like now. Okay, now I need to chop some carrots for the chicken. Then let's see if you can cut it faster. <laughs> and then spring onions, yeah. Let's see if you could chop the spring onion faster, yeah. Three. Okay, wait, wait, how'd you, wait, man, you're cheating. This has gone from cooking channel to spring onion chopping. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah? Three, two, one, go. Them. Like, who did it better? Master Chef, and then you got just taking the competition too seriously. Who won? Leave it down in the comments downstairs. They're not even cut properly, I can't lie. Look at this. This is how it got cut. It didn't. I'm gonna recut it. What the hell is that? What's this? <laughs> Why is it rhombus? Okay, so we've got the spring onions there, we've got the carrots there, and then we've got the garlic there. Mass segregation, Ramadan, no free mixing. So this should be done. That is hot. Oven mitt and bowl. Slap up there. And when I mix it, it should mix well. Okay, there we go. We made mashed potato. Go team. Look at this, it's a spring onion merchant, bruv. The mincemeat should be done. So this is done, yeah? And what we do now, yeah, is put this in here. Uh, mashed potato, mincemeat, it's a shepherd's pie. I have one hour to finish everything. And start mixing this. Okay, so this is done. Borek mixture. Okay, so I got the mixture, the pastry, and kiri. So this is meant to go inside that, and then that's meant to go inside that, and then it's meant to like, get rolled. Okay. Right, get a dollop, slap it in. Then you wanna get this thing, get like half of it, slap that in as well, and then roll delicately, as if they're your own children. I don't know who's rolling the children. Someone must be. And yeah, this is what we got. Start to pile up here. Anyways, um, I'm probably gonna fast forward all of this. Enjoy. It's not gonna fast forward in real life. I actually have to do this. I wish I didn't, but I do. By the way, is my brother distracting you, like, in the back? Because in my head, he's not even there. Oh, I, I just realized I wasn't in the middle of the frame the whole time. Don't really care. This is a cut scene because Face is basically going to iftar in it and he's preparing food. It's like a charity iftar in it. So he's he's cooked his own food. Yeah, this is just a uh, advert. Yeah, sponsored by my brother. Jeez. That looks nice. I need a bigger bowl, mate. Yeah, word. You need to go bowling. <laughs> Sorry. So I've come. So no. <laughs> the Ed. Oh, that smells so nice, guys. Basically, it smells of like smoky barbecue, but at the same time, you can smell like the chicken and the spices. I think that's the description that I'm going for today. He can't smoke because he had COVID like last year and his senses just decided to leave. Nice. <laughs> this is the for new thumbnail. Hey. It's hot. Nah, I just burnt myself. It's not hot though. Yeah, yeah. Burnt myself on the cold. Imagine it wasn't recording the whole time. Imagine I also died. Hey, this one's bare small. <laughs> Look how small this is. This isn't even a bore egg. This is just a boo. Yeah, because it's not good enough. Boo. Anyway. Oh yeah, round two, round two. Wait, man. This guy is not a content creator, man. He just put stuff. No, do it from the top. Do it from the top. So it slides down to the bottom. See that content creation? Sponsor me. Um, I don't know. Who could sponsor me for this? Nike. Nike. Nike sponsor me. Because he just did it. Sorry. Nike, just do it. Any takers? No, no one. Okay. Uh, from now on, here. Here's a tomato. Anytime the joke comes up, you can use that, yeah? It's right next to the like button. So when you click the like button, it automatically generates. Like actual time, please. When we ask our mom for the time, she just says whatever time she thinks it is. She just check. And she says it with chest as well. It's not like, oh, it might be around this. She's just like, yep, seven o'clock. Let me check the time now. It's 7.22. Yep, seven o'clock. No hesitation. Oh, yeah, what do you call it when a movie never wants to let go of you? What? Cling film. Is that a good joke, guys, or do you want to use the like button? Okay, basically, guys, because I don't want to make it seem like I did everything. My mum actually... What's the tea? Okay, I mean, my, oh, that's nothing. I, thought, I was going to say my mum helped me a bit because I thought she was helping me. She just got an onion. That's all she did. <laughs> so the burek is finished, and here we have the... I should have just cooked whatever you cooked, face on. Oh, we should do a bacon. Do you mind being on camera? You do mind, or you don't mind? Oh, yeah. don't mind. Oh, guys. One million likes and me and Fessa will do a, a cook-off. You got the, okay, and then that, okay. And then you also got the, and I got this, <laughs> and this. 100,000 likes and me and Faisal are going to do a cooking video. First time featuring Faisal. I don't know how much value he brings to this channel, but I've seen people ask for him before, so. Okay, I need to get free, how was freaking English? I said, what's freaking English? My mom was like, oh, it's like burgon. Basically, what I got to do is um, shillu. How do you say shillu in English? I need to rinse it. Okay, so now I got the, this kitchen is packed, bro. This is a Ramadan kitchen. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this, if you don't know what Ramadan is, it's basically yeah, it's a month where all the Muslims, Islamics, we fast and we don't eat food, we don't drink for the whole day for a month. From 
from sunrise to sunset. <laughs> but it's more than just like not eating food, isn't it? It's meant to be like a spiritual journey. Even though you're not going anywhere, you know, you get closer to God. This is the freak. Hey guys, this is what Faisal made. Like if you think Faisal's food is good, and like if you think my food is good, and like if you don't like Faisal's food, and also like if you don't like my food. This is the freak, and then this is the bure. This needs to be fried. All right, so we just massage this into the water. Hydration. Okay, so the purpose of this was me to be cooking for the whole family for dinner, but there's five people in the kitchen right now. I don't even know if you can hear me because there's people talking over me. Anyways, I'm gonna put the freak inside the shodba. It's like an obstacle course in this kitchen, a Ramadan obstacle course. So I just got threatened by my dad. He said that if the food is not nice today, I have to cook for the remaining 10 days. I mean, the logic, I don't understand it because if you didn't like the food, why would you want to suffer for the next 10 days? Until you get it tried. Hey, my mum said my shodba looks nice. I think that's the biggest compliment I've got in the last like eight minutes. It was my first time I ever actually making shodba and the instructions were done by putting my mum on loudspeaker. Also, look, this is where I got my blood test. That's where the needle came and colonized my vein. Time update, it's currently 7.50. Nothing's actually completely cooked. This burak is not cooked. The chicken is not cooked. Um, the shorba is cooking, but it's not cooked. And iftar is in, what, 15, 20 minutes. So British Bake Off is going great. Okay, update on the chicken. It got olives as well. So this is tajin, zitun. Zitun means olives. Now it's time to fry the burak. I tried to give my mom the camera. Wallah, she did not know what she's doing. So I'll hold it myself. Anyways. Burak number one, burak number two, number three. Okay, and also for the burak, we make this sauce thing. Okay, I need to try flip this now whilst holding the camera. Extreme sports. Okay, I can't do it, so I'm gonna do it off camera. All right, and so for the salad thing as well. This is, hey, this is basically just a Ramadan vlog at this point. This is just a Ramadan vlog. So you have this, and then put this in here. <gasps> I forgot the, oh, it burnt. I burnt one of the bureks. I burnt one of the bureks. Okay, let me, let me focus now. Look, now the camera's on my dad. <laughs> Wait, the whole time you were just chopping that. All right, there's only one more bureka left. The rest are here. Bureka salad. So it's got, what's the the first thing? It's coriander, isn't it? Coriander, and then grated tomato, garlic as well. And then you mix. Brev, the food isn't cooked yet. And look. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't understand what's going on, this is the call to prayer. That means that we can break off fast now because sunset has happened. I'm not even hungry anymore. I just want to sit here. I'm just bare tired, man. I'm proper tired. This is my sh I was meant to be serving my own shorba. All right, so we got the shorba. Okay. And then I'm gonna taste it, yeah, and review it and compare it to my mum's one. The texture and everything, it looks like the normal texture. <laughs> it actually tastes nice. Wait, there's a bit of a weird. Why is it so spicy? This tastes like shorba. I didn't expect it to taste like shorba. Okay, so this is the bure, and this is the mud bath. And then there's the salad thingy. Nice, dude. So you break the burek in half, you dip it in there, and then you enjoy it. This is the burek dip. This is the burek. Go like that, yeah? I don't know. This is the most exciting thing for me. Every time we're fasting, this is the thing I look forward to the most. So it's like this. Round of applause please guys. I'm gonna edit actual clapping noise. Abi, can you give us your thoughts on the shorba please? Because basically I need to use my dad because the last time I included my dad in the video, that was my most viewed video. So yeah, yeah, yeah Abi, <laughs> include yourself again. There you go. <laughs> give us an in-depth review. <laughs> Abi, English, my, my audience doesn't speak <laughs> Arabic. Actually, no, you can speak Arabic, I'll translate. I mean, shorba it's Ramadan shorba. Abi, that's English. Ah, sarah. Yani shorba, Ramadaniya. Honestly, it's the number one Ramadan shorba. My mom's dead getting vexed because she does the shorba all the time. Why are you crying, man? This came out after my mother's. Hmm? Can you try burek? All right, let us know your thoughts. Mm. Abi, you're such a- you're like me, we're both bad at acting. Enthusiastic, just mmm, nice, the food is nice. I'm not gonna hurt. Yes, he said wallah, so that means it's true. How much do you rate the shorba? 7.5 out of 10. How much do you rate the burek? 8 out of 10. Burek, burek. Burek is burek. Asaf, what do you rate it? Good. My little sister rated it good out of 10. Anyways, this is Tajin, Zitun. Let's get one from the depths of hell. I mean, from the bottom. Guys, this is not about presentation right now. I'm not bothered, I'm too tired. I don't care about the presentation. Obviously, you need some olives, some carrots. Taste test. It's nice, it's actually really nice. Today, we've learned that time management is key in this family. Guys, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Uh, overall, I think we rate the food 8 out of 10. It went okay, given that I haven't done this before. I've made burek before, that's the only thing I've actually made. Shorba, I've, I didn't even know how to make it until today. But uh, I think that's it. Oh yeah, and I mentioned before, I might do a cooking video with face on my brother. But anyways, um, yeah, that's it.